This video is sponsored by Linode. Linode is a fantastic cloud service provider where you can spin up a wide variety of Linux distros or services. A relevant application to this video would be Shoko, which is a anime cataloging program that you can run through Docker on Linode, or even Lanrari, I probably said that wrong, but you can use this to host your uh, MAGA or comic collections. And of course, a lot of different one-click installers that you could use for actual production, such as WordPress, Nextcloud, and a variety of game servers. So go ahead and check the link down below for a hundred dollar 60 day credit to go ahead and try out Linode today. This has been by far the most requested video as of recent to check out Ubuntu and what this is is a Linux distribution for the weebs at heart. Over 10,000 downloads comes with a high variety of uh, desktops installed and actually a pretty decent suite of applications including Calibre Tor VLC Qubit Torrent Opera, and of course, Discord. Looks like it has a uh, steam and wine potentially. And I love this little, uh, this little disclaimer here. Not every game is fully compatible. Visit ProtonDB for more information. And then you have the option just to simply make your computer better. And you could click right here to download now. Built with love by two crazy students. And at least I heard that this was for a, a school project or something like that but they actually made an operating system that they themselves would be wanting to use, which is pretty cool. I love that the, uh, <laughs> the community support right on their website takes you just right to uh, Ask Ubuntu. Ah, here's the more information. Two students who wanted to have fun with something different related to what they were studying, and they fell in love with Linux and plan on taking a taking this project seriously. And it looks like they have a merch store and all that. <laughs> and of course, this is all under a Creative Commons license. Now I will note to the faithful viewers of Tekka that I unfortunately cannot call myself a weeb. I know it's disappointing, I'm very sorry. When it comes to my history with the anime viewership and things like that, it's rather bleak. The furthest I ever got was watching Yu-Gi-Oh! on, uh, on a Saturday morning with uh, Antenna TV. And for the brief period, we had Nickelodeon. I catched a few episodes of uh, Avatar's Last Airbender, but that is really and truly, unfortunately, about it. With that, we are going to go migrating over to a virtual machine that I went ahead and spun up. Now, I already ran through the basic installation process, and that is about it. The installation process is basically the exact same as Ubuntu. But you can see, we log in here, we have this beautiful kitty cat looking at us. It's the same cat that we uh, saw on some of their merch. This is our uh, quick setup here. I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Next. Sure. Yes. Now, it appears like they do have a custom uh, GDK theming. Everything looks pretty nice. All these icons are broken, but we'll dive into that a little bit later. When it comes to just the default customization, it's, it's pretty good for Ubuntu. I mean, we go click the show applications. We got uh, all of our programs and everything installed on our system. If we go ahead and just dive into extensions right away, we can kind of see what is going on here. So they disabled the Ubuntu dock and they went ahead and added open weather desktop icons dash to panel, which is actually the uh, default on my current system, Norbrara. I have a separate video on that. Uh, check it, it, it's a pretty good video. Caffeine and Bluetooth, Bluetooth Quick Connect. So not too much extensions, but just enough to really kind of set the system apart. And I just love the animations of all the buttons and everything. Looking at some more of the applications shipped with it, we have Google Chrome, uh, Discord right here, Thunderbird Videos, Ubuntu software. We have Tweaks, which we'll dive into. Looks like we have some uh, remote desktop software. A lot of stuff that's included in Ubuntu with obviously some extras that I mentioned a bit ago. Let's dive into tweaks and see some of the theming and all that because actually the, it, it's pretty good. So if we go to appearance, we can see what they're using. Vimix, which I've covered on this channel before. Beautiful. I don't think I've covered these icons, but I like them for sure. So ultimately that's what's going on there. Now the real question is, am I going to have issues with the uh, software center? Oh look, they have a synaptic if I do. So that's always handy. So let's go to the uh, software center here. I just look at the, the cheeks. How cute. Oh, where's my window? Uh oh. Um, is this on purpose? <laughs> There's no way that's on purpose. Whatever, let's just go with it. We have PowerShell here. Good old Microsoft PowerShell in Ubuntu. Let's go ahead and grab it. I'm pretty sure this is a snap package though. I've said this before. There's nothing better than the snap package of Microsoft PowerShell on your Linux system. I mean, I don't have any of the UI elements, just the text, but it's still usable. And I mean, it's working better than a 
<laughs> it's working better than my experience with uh, the software center and just vanilla Ubuntu. Power show. Absolutely stunning. Let's zoom in a bit. Do we have NeoFetch? Oh, I haven't run any updates or anything yet, so I hope this works. Because I'm a little worried the updates might break things, but I I, I do not know. NeoFetch. There we go. Ubuntu. And I'm in KVM. This is just, uh, like I said, GNOME boxes here. Uh, the current version without updating, downloading directly from the website is not telling me the GNOME version. So I'm just going to go to settings. A boot. Yep, GNOME with 3.36. My God, dare I even try to update this system? I think this is one of the uh, short-term point releases of Ubuntu. Uh, 2021.05, but that doesn't tell you what version of Ubuntu it is. I wonder if there's any Opera customizations. Opera is a pretty good web browser, but it has a really kind of <laughs> past. Uh, I'd rather just use Firefox. Look at that. Raid Shadow Legends. This video is not sponsored by Raid. Let's go ahead and close that out. I mean, Steam's not pre-installed, but that's probably a good thing. I don't think you're allowed to without permission. Same with Google Chrome, though, but it's there. Does Discord work? Oh, updates. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't feel like trying to pull that right now. <laughs> Looking at some of the other uh, customizations here, we have our uh, weather. We have that caffeine application right here, which is uh, the screensaver suspended. Typical GNOME stuff. Dare we try to update. Let's do it. Pseudo apt date and don't you even fret we are going to pseudo apt upgrade are you surprised i have a typo i know i'm not oh boy look at all those updates let's go for it while it does do that one of the selling points for some reason is the magnitude of wallpapers which all are japanese themed beautiful i'll tell you what i truly would love to uh visit japan someday absolutely beautiful country what is this i don't even know what this is but we're saying yes oh they have an option without the cat why would anybody want to do such a thing oh there we go the best weibo os oh failed to download repository information okay where is it screwing up oh i don't know check your internet we do have internet don't we tech hot media so uh, get, we're, we're not going to be able to update for now but i mean look, if we go into like it's it's a beautiful looking system for the customizations everything is clean it's an ubuntu base it's ba it's basically ubuntu with some uh, uh extensions and theming there's really not much else to it that i'm seeing wonder if this thing happens again after that update oh yep <laughs> okay I'm going to end it off here. If you are interested in downloading this and trying it out in a virtual machine, I for sure will have it linked down below for you. And with that, have a beautiful day and goodbye.